I remember when I got my Platish turn on, I was kind of nervous getting that turtle because it was known to be a little bit more fragile, it needed to stay cold, etc. Now, about two months ago, I got another species that sometimes still makes me kind of nervous. And those are in here. Uh, today we're going to do an update of the Menoria Impressa, the impressed mountain tortoise. I got these now for about two months and uh, yeah, I was, I was definitely walking on my toes hoping everything would go well. And today I just want to update you on them, uh, talk a little bit about how they are doing. I feel like we are in the stage now that they seem to be doing okay. So just a quick overview of the setup. They are still all three in here. Uh, it's an extra terra low 90 times 45. There are uh, different types of light above there. There's a LED Arcadia Jungle Dawn. There is a 26 watt zoom at uh, 5.0. There's a 35 watts HID light. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't really see them actively basking. Um, let's see if we can find them. Mostly, at least two are underneath in the back. Oh, there's you. <laughs> I didn't see that. Um, well, we could start with saying that they are great climbers. It's absolutely amazing how well they climb. And this is the one. It's a clutch mate, but that was... I uh, hate all these flies in the winter, man. That was... Yeah, you don't like to be picked up, huh? That was incubated at a different temperature, that's why it has the dot. This is also the only one that has a bit of abnormality with the scutes. This one over here, those have some extra scutes. Normally I don't get those animals, but in this case, uh, I was okay with it. So yeah, there's uh, one over there and the other two I see peeking in the back. We'll take a closer look uh, in a minute. Now, what I've been doing with these, most importantly, is leaving them alone. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. I put them in the setup, I miss them, I feed them, etc. But other than that, I just leave them alone. The only reason for me to take them out is once in a while when I see them uh, walking about, uh, I just weigh them and that's what we are also going to do today. Now they definitely seem to have a different rhythm than the Monoria Emmys and the Emmys Vairai. Uh, actually those, at least at my place, in the morning they go and actively bask. And they actually get more active a little bit later in the day. Uh, but these are active like in the morning, they start to become active, they walk around, they feed. And uh, they may bask a bit but I've not seen it yet. And then for the rest of the day they are hiding. They are very shy now. Of course they are still very small. And they are young. But that's definitely something I needed to take in account. Also with feeding. Because with feeding they are very picky. And they want their food to be super super fresh. So what I would do is if I put the food out uh, later in the day. There's a good chance that they wouldn't eat on it because they weren't active at that time. Now, now slowly they are starting to become a little bit more, more active also later in the day when they notice that, that there's food. Uh, but other than that, especially in the beginning, they wouldn't feed if I put the food out a bit later in the day. And uh, what happened is then I left it uh, just a little bit longer and they just wouldn't feed on it. So what I got to do now is just make sure that in the morning, around the time they are becoming active, that there's food. Just before I go to work and when I'm back from work, I take it out again. This also means that uh, often I don't see them feeding. Also because they are often not active for walking around when I am in the room. They are still very shy and as I mentioned, I leave them alone. So that does mean they take a little bit more time to get used to me. But yeah, so making sure that everybody feeds is a little bit harder and that's why I am lucky to have this camera. I just put the camera out and uh, see them feeding. So they need their food to be fresh. Uh, they mostly feed in the, yeah, in the beginning of the day. So I would say they will be active around an hour after the lights go on, maybe a little bit earlier. 
and then until now it's two o'clock now and they are all hiding again sometimes I walk about a bit I know they are walking around because I see dirt in the water bowl and I see them move but overall um, I never see them walking about actively I just catch them in the moment now another thing when it comes to food uh, I definitely in the beginning I uh, needed to make sure it was fresh and also they wouldn't feed if I put my supplements on there so uh, what I did to make sure that they still get some calcium is of course very calcium rich uh, food and I have the sapia in there and they are feeding from that as you can see so I make sure that's clean and fresh for them uh, that way I make sure they still get some kind of some minerals and I just add a very very little bit of supplements now and they seem to be feeding them but if I add a little bit too much they won't feed the big part of their diet consists of mushrooms and again those also need to be very fresh so I buy uh, mushrooms two or three times a week I feed them oysters, uh, portobellos, uh, shiitakes and some other more common species um, but yeah, I definitely got to make sure that those are fresh. So they are a bit spoiled. And now on video, I've also seen them eat pak choy and a little bits of tauge. But definitely the, the biggest part of their food is mushrooms still. Now the biggest reason for me to put them together was a little bit of competition. So hopefully that, that way they would start feeding sooner. And although they hide together especially lately with feeding i almost never see all three together feed normally i see one that sees the food starts feeding goes away and then another one comes so that competition part um yeah i'd rather have them separate now so they can feed whenever they want and they're not uh, uh waiting for another one etc there's also a good chance that it's always the same one that goes first and then that one starts feeding on certain items and then the other ones can only feed what's left now, I feed them way more than they can take so uh, should not happen but still they are gonna be separated but we are in lockdown in the Netherlands so I had to order stuff so everything takes a little bit longer and then I will keep one Impressa in one Exoterra but look at those, they are absolutely stunning. So the comp competition part did work. Uh, they are feeding now pretty well. Um, they are still hiding together, but uh, it is time to separate them and to make sure that I can take better note of them. You can see now they are just sitting there and there's a good chance they won't walk until I am gone. The best way for me to monitor them feeding is not only the camera but also their weight and in the beginning they lost uh, about five to ten percent of their weight so I was very nervous they also didn't feed a lot I got them feeding with oyster mushrooms oysters are definitely their favorite mushrooms at the moment anyway the best way for me to monitor their health is their weight so I'm just gonna weigh them uh, to see how their weight is progressing because now they are definitely gaining weight so let's see I know this video is a bit of a ramble but I just wanted to share my experiences uh, thus far because there's not a lot of info about these animals on uh, at least not on YouTube they are known to be very fragile I definitely am still very careful with them I miss them at least in the morning and at the evening just a little bit um, because sometimes when they are not active they don't seem to find the, the water bowl uh, I can see they have been active walking through the water bowl when it's dirty to get fresh water every day um, but sometimes uh, yeah I just want to make sure they drink and the, the, the higher humidity definitely keeps them more active uh, and let's see how, how much they've weighed they fed yesterday so I will just make sure there's a day between feeding and weighing them wow and then I just make pictures and those pictures are uh, safe in the album so that way I can check the date and the pictures how much they uh, are weighing how they are doing now this one is 40 grams now and it started at about 30 31 all of them lost about three to five grams in the first two weeks so I was very nervous um, but now they've gained a lot of weight 
it's funny this one is 35 grams and it's really funny because that one I saw feeding yesterday this one I didn't and I put them back in the water bowl just in case oh now they are they don't like that they start to become active and this is a red one this is such a pretty one I will give you a close-up of this one in a bit and this one is 42 43 no that's 42 between 42 and 43 grams so this is a very simple way if you want to monitor their the health of your tortoises or turtles and you don't always see them feed or just leave them be that's that's mostly what I'm doing just leaving them be just uh, this is the only part when I actively um, I'm, yeah I'm active with them and this already takes way longer because it's a video uh, but yeah definitely give them a lot of rest and I'll give you a close-up of this one yeah this is the most I've handled them since I've got them honestly um, I'm not gonna take way more longer they see you can see they have the very nice serrated edge on their shell that's for camouflage and also when the animal grabs them that it hurts um, and if I turn it around they have very long legs by the way they are very great climbers they are pretty much all found in very mountainous regions and karst regions um, you see there's some flies here that I always have that in the winter and I just want to show you their plastron because it's a little bit different than the Emmys Emmys and Emmys Farai and that you can see these uh, Gulers cubes, I believe they are called. They're protruding to the sides, and I've not seen that with Emmys, Emmys, or Emmys Ferrari. Beautiful tortoises. Okay, time to put it back. Okay, I'm gonna leave them alone again. A bit of a ramble this video, but I just wanted to share these experiences with you. And uh, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this little update on the Minori Impressa. I'm definitely gonna keep you updated even more. Uh, as things go along, I just wanted to share the stuff that I've learned thus far. So thanks so much and uh, I'll see you later. Bye!